Guys, it's really nice to talk to you. You have so many fans here in Brazil, you know that, and they are crazy about this interview. Oh, we're excited. Oh, yeah, nice to talk to you too. I love your dress. Thank you, thank you so much. And congratulations on the good times and the bad ones. It's a great album. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. And guys, uh, you took some time off before the pandemic started, and then you came with this awesome album. So besides producing a full record, what else did you do these times, like, did you find out a new hidden talent or something? I, I learned how to cook pretty well. No, he's getting there. I think I learned patience. How to breathe more effectively. Yeah. 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 I learned more yeah. tips on staying hydrated. Yeah. Uh, just drinking water. Yeah. It, it was hard for me to figure that out. Though. And this record marks a more mature moment of the band, right? It's a modern sound, but at the same time, it brings that 2000s rock nostalgia vibes that we love. Why did you choose this sound for the record? Who came up with this idea? Uh, we chose this sound, I guess, just because it was the sound that we that came out of us. I don't think we forced it, and I think that's what's special is it's authentic. Uh, we, you know, we look we look up to a lot of older bands like the Beatles and Queen and Smashing Pumpkins and. Um, we also listen to, you know, Post Malone, Machine Gun Kelly, all these new artists. And so I feel like we found this cool uh, middle ground uh, without even really trying, though. I think it just kind of happened. And yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like this is the first album uh, to us that feels truly like, why don't we sound? Which, you know, we're really excited about. Nice. I love it. And the song Be Myself talks about anxiety in a very sincere way. Uh, during these pandemic times and especially quarantine, what did you do to take care of your mental health? Write, write songs. Meditate. Yoga. I got, I, I got some scuba gear for my pool in the back and I start scuba diving. Really? Yeah, you go to the bottom and you yeah, just... Actually, you see you just yeah. Nice. Okay, we put together a contest for your Brazilian fans. They ask questions for you guys, and the most creative one will receive a t-shirt and a Polaroid signed by you. So, <laughs> yeah. So here it comes. Now it's the time. The winner is Lika. Hey. Lika! Woo Good stuff, Lika! <laughs> Her username on Twitter is Hope Letters. And the question is, if you could choose the storyline of a song to become a movie, which one would it be? Uh, Grey would be a beautiful, Grey would be a sad, great movie. Be a sad movie. Look at, oh, look, look at me. me. Look, look at me. me. Quite a film. That's, that's like the next that's 50 Shades. Cool. Yeah. Or For You tells a crazy story. Yeah. yeah. Choose one. One. Look one. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. No, look at me. 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 Who, who do you you imagine is staring the movie? An actor or a group of actors? Uh, uh, <laughs> probably, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Jason Earl. Or yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean yeah. Or uh, Margot Robbie. Oh, oh yeah, Margot, Margot Robbie, Robbie for sure. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just recreate a Wall Street. Wall Street. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Good. Do you want to, to say something to Lika, who won the contest? Yeah, Lika, we, love you. we love you, Lika. We love you so much. Congrats on winning. You yeah. should also go get a lottery ticket. You should. You won. So you probably will win your lottery. Yes. yes. And we love you. Thank you for the and support. And if you win the lottery, I would like some of it. Now I have a gossip time here. You've already said that you knew that uh, about Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello dating before they made it public. And here in my channel, I always talk about Shawn Mila since the beginning. So, if they were to get married and ask you to sing at their wedding, what song would you sing? I would sing Havana Una Na. <laughs> <laughs> I would sing Havana Una Na. I would do uh, Look At. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, your song. Oh, our song. Yeah. What am I when you kid? Look at me, it's probably the best song. Um, free would be a bop. There's so many options. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. Now uh, we need to talk about the Come to Brazil song, of course. Because you, you read Come to Brazil a lot through social media, right? Yeah. <laughs> so can, can we expect your visit when things get better, of course? Yes. We were already planning on it before COVID happened. Really? Tell me. We were planning on coming uh after this album was out and then over it and so we're still planning on it so yes it will happen it, it's yes. definitely going to happen get get yeah. everybody in brazil ready at, it's some, at some point in the next five years when I, i'm just no. kidding, <laughs> whenever we perform fun in brazil for the first time in brazil yeah. we are super ready and what do you know about brazil do you know anything a song a movie an artist i know the the statue Uh, you, you know what I'm talking about? Like up on the mountain, <laughs> the big statue. Ah, Cristo Redentor. The mountain yes, statue. Yes, yes, yes. Um, um, I know the... Wait, uh, is Anita from Brazil? Or I... Is Anita from Brazil? Uh, yes, yes. She's Brazilian. We met her. We met her once. Yeah. Really? When? We uh, met her in Las Cuarenta in, uh, in Spain at a show we did with her. Um, yeah. She is yeah. beautiful. We yeah. know that um, there's a lot of beautiful girls. Yeah. Guys, now I want to play uh, a, a game with you uh, to test your knowledge about our country. There are many peculiar things that I assume that only happens here in Brazil. So I want to take a quiz about Brazil with some situations that, that represent pretty much Brazil more than soccer and samba, you know? Okay. First one, is that true or false? The most followed drag queen in the world is a Brazilian. True or false? True. Yes, probably true. Yeah, true. True. Her name is Pablo Vitar. You should listen. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> that's it. So, second question. Here in Brazil, we love reality shows so much that in 2020 edition of Big Brother Brazil, we broke the record for most votes on a reality show in history. What is the total amount of votes? A. You have to you have to guess. A. 589 million. B. 1.5 billion. Or C. 2 billion. Uh, A. A. C. B. A. A. B. A. A. Yeah. B. B. 1.5 billion. Yeah. We are crazy. It's like World Cup here. Do you like reality shows? Yeah, yeah. I actually watch Big Brother. Yeah. I like Survivor. Really? Oh, Survivor's oh, good. Survivor's good. good show. Survivor's good. I've been on that show once. The last one. Uh, the, the vaccination in Brazil started this week. According to the president, what would happen to the people if they get vaccinated? A. Turning to alligators. B. Lose their memory. Or C. Have immunity forever. A. Uh, C. A. 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 C. He's a fool unless he says C. Yeah, A. A. <laughs> <laughs> he said that you're going to turn into an alligator? Yes, believe that. What Do the people know, believe him? <laughs> no, no. What a crazy person. So we are becoming alligators. <laughs> Guys, just to wrap up, I have to finish here. The name of your record is The Good Times and the Bad Ones. But in Brazil, we would say it a little differently. So, can you try to speak this sentence in Portuguese? El tiempo yeah. bueno. Um, Dias de luta. Dias de luta. Dias de glória. Dias de glória. Dias de luta. Dias de glória. Great. Yeah. It means the struggle days, glory days. Actually, it's a name of a famous song here of one of the greatest rock bands we've ever had. But the sentence became a meme on Twitter as everything in Brazil. That's it, it's crazy. Guys, thank you so much for your time for the interview. Thank you. Are you in the They want to say Yeah, I am the FBI, FBI on internet here in Brazil. What? Oh, yeah. No. 
I know everything about pop culture, you know? We love you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Brazil loves you. We Thank love you. you so hey, much. thanks. Bye. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah. You too. Bye-bye. Take care. Eita, que essa entrevista com Idle Wee era esperada por vocês, hein? Vocês me pedem há muito tempo aqui no canal, desde quando eu falei deles aqui. E espero que vocês tenham curtido. Tem essas dificuldades de fazer entrevista remota, que rola muito delay. Às vezes não dá pra entender direito o que eu falo, o que eles falam. E aí tem essa dificuldade. E também o tempo curto, porque eles estavam num dia cheio de gravações. Mas espero que vocês tenham curtido. Deixe seu comentário aí, dizendo o que você achou, qual que é o momento preferido. Faz meme no Twitter. Manda esse vídeo pra gente para quem curte o I Don't We, ou para quem precisa conhecer, dá um like aqui se você curtiu e se inscreve no canal se você ainda não é inscrito porque tem muita entrevista aqui, beleza? É nós, tamo junto.